Today on the show, we are talking wellness with Dennis Parker from the Positive Mind Management Services and the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School, and also Dr. Rogers from Body Renew. We're talking bioidentical hormones. And I'm going to offer all my tips for, I don't know what tips I have, but it should be a pretty smart show. Why don't you stay tuned and watch? Here we go. All this and more coming at you on Talk 365 TV right now. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Holly Love, and that is Trip Mitchell. And Trip, speaking of tips, well, you have some fun stuff you've been up to, so, so bring it. You know how when you go to a charity dinner, they always auction off things. Well, I know because I watch Friends a lot, and I know Joey bet on a boat because he thought it was you win it. But <laughs> what I learned from Joey is if I'm at those dinners, you don't win, you buy. Yes, you buy, <laughs> and essentially what happens is people put in just great packages uh -huh. and so some friends of Vita and myself bid bought a package sure which includes a chef and a helper coming to your house a wine sommelier coming as well and you pair a dinner with wine and courses and we've got some pictures up on the screen and it you know at times you feel like a real adult when you do something like this. Very adulting moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful home. Karen and, and Sean's home up in Park City. It looks out over, way up on the side of the mountain, looking out over Deer Valley. Uh -huh. You just feel like adult. Uh -huh. And then you have chefs bringing, and so I want to give a shout out to Rebecca's Kitchen. Rebecca Abrams did an amazing job. She so would come what, up to the table. What did you eat? Well, the, a tenderloin, grass-fed Utah tenderloin, which nice. was phenomenal, uh -huh. with a couple reductions and a special bacon butter. Oh. What is better than that? I and, don't know. And a blue cheese salad. Take a look at this. This is, I don't. And I eat, know you didn't drink the wine. So what did she have you drink instead? Like sparkling water? Or sparkling water, water. But then it was interesting. One of the wines, they came from a winery in Sonoma mm -hmm. that is attached kind of tangentially to the Grateful Dead. And she oh. asked some dead trivia questions and I answered all of them properly. So you didn't drink the wine, but you knew the trivia. I knew the trivia, but That's good. she sniffed one of the bottle or one of, you decant a wine uh -huh. and it smelled like lighter fluid oh. or dry cleaning stuff. But everyone said it tasted great. But I learned what to do if you want to be a wine snob, how you spin it around and- Oxygenate it or whatever. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot. It's fun to do different things like that. Absolutely. If you had an opportunity to bring in a private chef that is also a sommelier come in and make food for you, you should definitely do that. It is. I didn't have the courage to ask how much it was, but it is so cool. And we've got Mother's Day coming up. Ooh. Men out there, if you want to do something that will hit yeah. it out of the park. Very romantic along the adulting line, I would imagine. So she is available to do this she on is. a regular basis. If yep. you just look her up, how do we get in touch with her? You give her a call at 801 231 Four six eight two, and it is about as cool a thing as you can do for your spouse. I think we're gonna have and to they clean the it. kitchen afterwards. Ooh, even better! Now you're talking cook and clean. It doesn't even exist. All right, cool. Well, coming up next, we have our wellness news you can use. You're not gonna want to miss it. So stick around. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks, and if you're struggling with an IRS tax debt of ten thousand dollars or more, I want you to call my friends at the Tax Defense Group. They recently turned a client's $100,000 tax debt into a refund. <laughs> you gotta love that. So call the Tax Defense Group now. They'll give you a 100% satisfaction guarantee, and they're open 24 hours a day because tax debt doesn't sleep either. Call 800 1369 That's 800 1369 Healthcare for the Talk 365 team is provided by Body Renew. And welcome back to Talk 365, Trip Mitchell and Holly Love on this beautiful Utah morning. And you are talking wellness. We are talking wellness. So back in December, wellandgood.com, um, which I recently found, I don't know how in all my wellness searches I hadn't come upon this sooner because it is a .com that was put together in 2010 by two journalist ladies who have worked for the New York Times, Vogue. I mean, they were bigwig journalists who met each other and decided 
to put their journalistic angle into a website dedicated to wellness and all of the stuff that was coming out back in 2010. Now, this was when, you know, we didn't talk about juicing in a normal conversation and how fast the shift has gone to everybody is on a wellness program of multiple ways. Like number one, how you're exercising, how you're eating, and then you're expected to Instagram about it or put it on Facebook or take a picture of your food. So they coined a term that I don't, I think I've ever heard before, I'm curious if you have, performative wellness. Have you heard that? I have not. So we are saying goodbye to performative wellness and saying hello to sanity because all of this acceptance of wellness has caused people to become stressed by their wellness routine and they don't have time. So it's pretty much a way to reclaim your time. And because of this shift, they predicted that what it would do to the marketplace and what you would start seeing would change. So things like skincare lines, which this is true. So you're seeing products that have higher dose of what is the best, most essential stuff for your skincare line. So you only have like a one and done, maybe two and done skincare line. It's called Skip Care rather than seven, which you already threw that out there. You weren't about to do that. You never were on the pendulum side over here. It, it just is weird that women, you guys go through a regimen for your face that is so time consuming. Well, not anymore. That's the that's sort of the revolt of reclaiming your time. Also, diet and exercise is reflecting it, and we'll talk about that down the road a little bit because this is a sort of a two-part series. But I really like the concept of, of things you can look for in the marketplace that are reflecting this new attitude towards wellness. Like we like it. We think it's awesome, but it can't take that much time. We can't have our whole life like eaten up by it. And another thing was hormones. Women are realizing that hormones are everything. And what is happening in the marketplace is you are seeing more at-home testing kits for everything from thyroid to hormone kits. So very interesting to see how we have come from a place where, you know, antibiotics and your doctor visit was the only thing that mattered to the whole at home. We want not only the convenience of doing it at home, but we want more medical procedures. We want more knowledge being brought to us personally. We don't want to turn it over, which I think is really cool. It's a sign we want to be responsible and we want you to make it easier for us. Which well, is super I'm all cool. for that. I want to make life easier for women. What's coming up in our next segment? So speaking of hormones, I have been going to Dr. Rogers at Body Renew, who if you want to skip the at-home testing, which I actually recommend because it's pretty expensive. It's anywhere from 100 to 400 bucks to do it at home. And at the end of the day, to get the results you want, you need to go in and see him. He does a thorough blood evaluation of your hormones, your thyroid, everything that's happening. And then he also provides bioidentical hormones in the form of pellets, which like I said, I've been three, four years on this and I know immediately when it has been my three, four month mark, which I'm about due. So Dr. Rogers, I'll be calling you and you should too. Check this out. Talk 365's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Body Renew with wellness team expert, Dr. Brian Rogers. Low sex hormones cause memory loss. Like you um, walk into a room and wonder why you're there. You lose your car keys or you can't remember someone's name. They cause low-grade depression, low energy. They make it so you can't lose fat or can't gain muscle. They decrease your sex drive or your sex performance. They cause insomnia. If you have any of these symptoms, come see me at Body Renew, and if you mention Talk 365, we'll take $100 off your first pellet insertion. Snacking has never been this exciting. At Graze.com, we combine wholesome ingredients with the flavors we all love to create over 100 exciting snacks, like these. We'd love to send you a Graze sampler box for free. Just go to Graze.com, enter the code SNACK54, and we'll mail your free box to your home or office. Join thousands of Grazers already in love with our exciting snacks. So come to Graze.com for your first box free. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to Talk 365 Trip Mitchell. Holly Love here on, as I mentioned last segment, a beautiful spring morning. It's hard not to say it when it is so beautiful outside, right? I would like winter to stay around a little longer, but I've lost this, so we will have a, Thank we goodness. had a great winter. So what's going on? 
So coming up next, we had a chance to go and visit Mr. Dennis Parker and his new digs up in Far West. He has this new building that he custom built himself. It has the offices of Positive Mind Management Services where you can go and see him for certified hypnotherapy or you can see him online. And then he also has where he does the training school for certified hypnotherapy. And again, he teaches students from all over the world. It's state of the art online live, but really he's become a local expert in pornography and self-abuse. We started talking about this with him four years ago. We chatted with John Harmer, who was the Lieutenant Governor in Reagan's administration. And he clear back then and said, Dennis Parker is the only one he and the Lighted Candle Society would endorse. Now they were some of the early pioneers in studying the brain and the effects of pornography on the brain. And Dennis Parker is the only one that he has ever endorsed. And as well as we've had a chance to chat with our good friend, State President John Hollingshead, about how Dennis has helped him with people who are in the church who come to him. He advocates highly seeing Dennis Parker. So he has got a lot of fun things happening, including a new online training for this and many more, and also three new books coming out. And you're going to get a chance to learn it all right here, right now. Check it out. Today's Talking Wellness is presented by the offices of Positive Mind Management Services and the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with wellness team expert, Dennis Parker. Hey everybody, welcome to another Talking Wellness segment. Today, we are here at the new residence of the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School and offices of Positive Mind Management Services to talk to owner and our wellness team member, Mr. Dennis Parker, about this awesome location, new books, and a brand new online training course that pulls the curtain back on pornography and self-abuse and really hits hard on what it takes to overcome it once and for all. So without further ado, let's meet the man of the hour and bring in Mr. Dennis Parker, my friend, my mentor, and a person that I can honestly say has completely changed my life. Hi Dennis, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing so good. Congratulations on this amazing new facility. Oh, thank you. I am so excited to be up here because you have so many fun things happening. You have three books being released, you have school happening, you have online webinars and online trainings. It's just a good time to be you. It's a lot of fun at this point in my life to be doing what I'm doing, I love it. So let's talk about your new facility here. You've got the offices of Positive Mind Management Services, right. where you have multiple hypnotherapists that work out of there, both in person you can come in as a client or online. Tell us about that. Well, the Positive Mind Management Services side of the business is uh, where I also work when I'm not teaching school or we're not managing and running the school. And so there we actually do sessions of certified clinical hypnotherapy. We're using hypnosis, pondering or trance to access people's subconscious mind where the roots of problems are normally housed and we teach them how to clear up what we would normally call fixations. A fixation is a memory that still has a negative emotion attached to it. So when you think about that memory, you still become angry or you become sad or mad. And so we help people desensitize from past abuses, memories of abuses, and we help people through all types of behavioral issues, pain control, uh, prep mothers to do painless childbirth, migraine pain control, the emotional side of illnesses. Pretty much anything that ails you because of the emotional component that you are able to help people right. around all of those things you said. Right. Every disease or illness has really two components. There's the emotional side. That's where doctors want to say this is stress induced and we hear that a lot. And then there's the organic pathology side. The stress side is where it's actually being driven by stressful thoughts or stressful thinking. And as those thoughts are placed through the brain as energetic frequencies, it's those frequencies that are either positive or maladaptive that either enhance the immune system or decrease it. So we are good at helping a person clear up the emotional component, then the medicines or the nutrition or whatever else they're doing on the physical side to finish cleaning up the organic pathology actually has a better chance of being successful because we don't have this emotional conflict mm -hmm. in the immune system kind of fighting against that so to speak. So beyond the services for your clients, you also have the school that has been going for quite some time. 
where you teach students how to become certified hypnotherapists and teach them your exclusive positive mind management, which is advanced clinical hypnotherapy techniques that you've developed in your 30 plus years of doing this. So let's talk about how that is so special and different from anything else anybody's doing. To start with, the school is a post-secondary proprietary school of hypnotherapy in the state of Utah, meaning we're a professional trade school of hypnotherapy. Uh, we're registered and bonded through the Department of Commerce. Uh, so we're uh, actually Doppel regulated. We're the official school, if you will, of hypnotherapy. The other thing that makes our certificates credible is, is that we certify through the American Council of Hypnotist Examiners, which is one of the oldest and largest certifying organizations in the world. And with their certificates, our student can get the same uh, malpractice liability insurance as a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. So it's considered to be like the real, the real deal in hypnotherapy. So in the school, we train people in hypnosis. We train them in self-hypnosis. We train them in what's called suggestion hypnotherapy. We train them in what we call clinical hypnotherapy modules. We train them in positive mind management modules. And then we're adding a new course segment to it now that we're finally uh, pulling out of the uh, dark of the back of the room called Protocols of Adversarial Resistance. You have spent the <laughs> last 30 years working with, as I said earlier, thousands of clients. You have done tens of thousands of hypnotherapy sessions. And you being born and raised here in Utah and being brought up as a Christian has greatly influenced the way you approach clinical hypnotherapy. And interestingly enough, it's your spirituality that almost has demystified it because you really understand how this works and you're able to get results time after time after time. Well, a lot of people want to think that hypnosis is a mystery. You know, the mm -hmm. mystery of the mind and the subconscious and so on. I don't view it as a mystery at all. I view it as a set of processes that the mind does that are predictable, they're understandable. What's different is that I did take a little psychology in college, but I've really spent 30 years studying all of this from a gospel perspective. And what the Lord's always taken me back to is, is that who we really are is our intelligence that's spoken of in Abraham 3. So before we were spirits, we were intelligences and it's been our intelligence that was placed in our spirit's mind. When the intelligence thinks thoughts, it puts frequencies and energy into the brain. That's where the brain gets its energy from. Once that frequency is in the brain at those different frequency levels based on the thought, mm -hmm. now those frequencies go down through the body and constitute the body electric or what most people would want to call the immune system. But what's important about the brain is that it is the body part that connects the intelligence or the spirit's mind. So rather than work with a brain, like lots of folks want to do and talk about, I'm not about the brain per se. I want to work with a part that is controlling and energizing the brain. And then what we were introducing today is we're introducing a whole new segment of training because I've known about it for years and years and years, but we've never like gone public with what we're now introducing into the school as well. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're now calling protocols of adversarial resistance which I'm very excited to dive into because along the way you have become the go-to expert for Mormon families, bishops, stake presidents, missionaries dealing with pornography and self-abuse and what you've finally done is created additional protocols and you're launching it both in the school to teach your upcoming students how to implement these skills and then you're also helping your clients and there is online training courses now available that will help you get most of the work done and get your head wrapped around this in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, so we're today's kind of the launch of that and we're finally gonna just put it all out there and call it what it is. So this new course is to help people get out of pornography because it's such a predominant problem in lots of people's homes and lots of people's lives and so on. And what this is about is this is about teaching people how to overcome adversarial entities that are actually involved in pornography. When it comes to pornography, I really don't like the word addiction. Which definitely gets people riled up at first because they want to say that it is, but if, if you see it through, and as you'll explain, they'll understand how empowering it is once you realize it's something you can control. Well, when the guys come in here and you see that, they may want to challenge me a little bit with that because they'll come in and say, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a sex addict or I'm a mm -hmm. pornography addict. And well, what do you mean you don't believe in addiction? Being an addict mean what, means what to you? You have this disease, you're out of control, so you're justified in doing what you're doing. Is that what you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Oh, well then you're going to tell me that you have to do it at work or 
at school or wherever else you're at, because on lunch breaks and so on, you just have to run out, you have to keep doing this. No, well, no, because I'd get suspended or I'd get fired or whatever, mm -hmm. right? So the challenge is, I said, look, if you can control it at work and home when you want to, you are in control of this. This is not a control issue. This is a motivational issue. So it, a lot of what we do differently is giving them the motivation to control it all the time. And that's because a whole they're process. they're halfway there. Yeah, and so it's, it's, but then it's a matter of teaching them the rest of the control tools and, and amping up the motivation in their own minds to actually be clean and stay clean. We've figured out, and our claim is, we know how the imagination works. So the imagination turns emotions up or down depending on how you choose to manage your imagination. And one of the things that we do here is teach people how to actually turn their imagination up appropriately or turn it down and off for inappropriate material, which simultaneously turns off the inappropriate arousal or turns arousal up. So there's been some people, and usually you know, women or even men with ED functions, where you actually have to turn the imagination back up and have them function normally in their marriages. So it goes both ways. With the kids, we're teaching them how to turn it off. So it gives them instant control over their body and their mind because, but they do have to enact their mind in these ways. They have to manage it. That's mm -hmm. why we call it mind management. Once they have the tools and the skills, they can manage their minds and they can stay in control. So the imagination can take the problem clear out to here, but then if you get it clear out to here and then they start to act out in deviant ways, that's where the adversary can actually come in and attach to them mm -hmm. mentally, uh, psychically, because once they're attached, they can constantly bombard them in their ears, and I call mm -hmm. that mind chatter, where they're getting this constant bombardment of these temptation thoughts and these promptings to continue to do more and more of what they know on this side they profess I don't want to do. I'm sick of all that stuff, I want out of it. That's why they show up in my office. Mm -hmm. But yet they have these attachments that they think are them. They have all these feelings and emotions that they don't know how to deal with and they haven't been taught how to handle. That's what we're doing now, yeah. That is what is so empowering about what you do is yeah. because you are able to teach people how to manage your mind, be in the driver's seat of your life. And for me, probably the most amazing day of my life is when you taught me how to turn off anxiety. So I can imagine for people who are suffering with pornography or self-abuse through that, it's gotta be the best day when they wake up and realize, wait a minute, I am in control. Right. Which is what you do every day. Well, and, and other people without, you know, the pornography issue, what, what we really claim to do is to teach people how to be fully in control of your emotions. And one of the things that we do quite a bit of is I work with a lot of sports, athletes, a lot of salespeople, teach them how to pick up those 50 pound telephones, overcome their fears and anxieties. But uh, we also prep attorneys to take the bar exam, uh, CPAs to take the CPA exam, doctors. So we're, we're helping people in lots of different ways to know how to control, manage their minds and and do things at their own free will. A lot of time that you just don't understand how the mind works and you do, which right. is which is the coolest thing about what you do here. If you have questions about this and you want to know more, log on to certifiedhypnotherapytrainingschool.com or positivemindmanagementservices.com. It is in both places. You can find his education section where there are all kinds of webinars living there. We have an extended TV interview and educational webinar where we talk about this a little further, a little deeper. We also have times that you have presented at seminars where you can learn more and educate yourself and get a lot of your questions answered right there. Again, saving you time right. and money because a lot of your initial consultations are answering questions before you really can dive in and do the work. And then if you know somebody who is suffering with pornography or self-abuse or you are, then this is a great place to start because you're able to get most of the work done in the privacy of your own home immediately right now by logging on. Now before we go, we got to talk about you have one more book. Tell us what your third book is coming out right now. Well, one of the things that we're really successful with is helping children think about their thoughts and control their emotions. So this new little book is something, a collaboration with me and my granddaughter. She did all of the pictures and the coloring and stuff and she filled in the pages so that it has a little explanation that a child can go through and understand these same principles, learn how to control their emotions and their thoughts, put them in their own driver's seat, just like we teach the adults, mm -hmm. only it's been scaled down to a, a child's level. Well, with so, so many children who are suffering with ADHD or learning disabilities out there, we have talked about this before, but we live in a society with the screen time and everything that puts right. people in a place that they learn how to be really good at being distracted. Right, and children suffer with all of the same esteem issues 
they call each other names at school, sometimes they get bullied, there's other things. This little book addresses those things and teaches them how to adjust their emotions and how to stay in control and be happy again on a regular basis. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, if you want any of these books, webinars, online training courses, log on to Dennis's websites, either one, and give him a call if you'd like to make an appointment for a consultation and get in here and chat with him or do an online visit. You can reach him through his website and you yes. will give them a call back immediately, right? <laughs> yes, just as soon as, as we soon can. As, as soon as immediately. You <laughs> are one of your team members. Yes. Yes. We will get back to you. All right. Well, Dennis, congratulations again on your beautiful new facility here and everything you've got going on. And I'm super excited to see how things move forward with all of these online training courses. Dennis, thank you so much for everything you do. Well, thank you. And we're excited to help more people. So thanks for that. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. And welcome back to the show. Interesting stuff today. You've known Dennis a long time. I know, and it has been an incredible relationship with him, both as a mentor and someone that I've seen personally as his client. And then fun to help him build his business and be a part Where of Where is the Far growth. West, by the way? It's only like 10 minutes from downtown Ogden. So it's just a little bit further north. It's beautiful up there. Um, but obviously, you don't have to travel to see him. Online stuff is, is all the rage. It's way easier. You know, one of the weird things about coming back to Utah after being gone for so many years, towns you used to know, you're kind of fuzzy. Is that down in Utah County? Is that up in Weber and David? I, well, the growth is so huge. One of the cool projects that they're talking about that I would love to see is a company wants to dredge up Utah Lake to make it great again and use all that mm -hmm. land to build an island. Mm -hmm. Like for, Dubai. Yeah. Well, so, I mean... I mean, I'm very tough to be like Dubai, but <laughs> in theory. <laughs> so exactly. So yeah. Utah Lake used to be a fun lake. Yeah. When I first moved to Utah, it was cleaner. It didn't have all the runoff. It was a great spot to go. It was warm. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the places you could ski at Snowbird in the morning and go water skiing in the afternoon and not freeze. Uh -huh. And this idea of building a, a big town up in the middle of the lake is really cool. And people, for some reason, are against it. It sounds to me like... Really? A so you win -win don't think situation. it's going to go? I, I, I've heard good and bad, but yeah. I think it would be because cool. Utah County is just going to grow like crazy. That is becoming Little the... Little Silicon Valley, right? It is a tech hub now. Yeah, it's cool. Real quick before we go, Casey and Bob, Andy's parents, I absolutely love them. They're so cute. They just came back from a trek with the girls to California and they brought me this awesome straw and a second one with the best thing, a cleaner. Now, here's what I want to ask businesses to do because I'm a lipstick wearer and I love straws, but I also love the ocean and our turtles. Um, put this with the silverware. Just wrap it on up with the fork, the knife, and then clean it up for yourselves and then just stop with the plastic straws, but still give me a straw. Okay. That's, that's my plea. Anyway, so thank you. I love my straw. Everyone have a wonderful day. You too, Trip Mitchell.